I'm excited to showcase how Datadog can provide visibility into your container and Kubernetes environments so that there are no blind spots for your teams. This is the Kubernetes overview page, and it provides users with a wealth of information to monitor their Kubernetes environment by providing them with guidance at every stage, regardless of team or level of familiarity with Kubernetes. Here you get a bird's eye view of the Kubernetes resources from all your clusters, including replica sets, deployments, and services. Based on Datadog best practices, the Troubleshooting Patterns section offers guidance into five common issues in Kubernetes clusters. Selecting a pattern will open a corresponding data visualization from your clusters to troubleshoot the issue. We'll cover this more later, but Datadog's platform measures how your workloads are provisioned and recommendations for resource optimization. We also offer out-of-the-box dashboards and monitors, which can be useful for onboarding new team members and reducing the load on experienced platform engineers. To get deeper insights into the health and performance of containers, let's pivot to the Lab Containers view. This is the Lab Containers view, which offers real-time visibility into your Kubernetes environments and can be scoped to any resource type. You'll see here we include Kubernetes resources such as pods, clusters, nodes, as well as any other resource groups like workloads, network, and storage right here, making it easy for you to filter and drill down into resources that you care about the most. By clicking into the pods view, you'll be able to see important information like the status and readiness of every pod, and use facets to filter or group pods by different tags. Up here, you'll see our Watchdog Insights feature, which continuously analyzes your infrastructure to understand when activity in your containers deviates enough from its historical baseline to be considered anomalous. You can access the full context of each anomaly to quickly eliminate and confirm suspects. By clicking into a pod, we can now see the status and readiness of each container within this pod, and also performance metrics like CPU and RSS memory usage. If there is an issue with any of the containers, we can dig deeper with the full Kubernetes object spec in the YAML tab. For example, you can even pivot to namespace, labels, status, and more. Now we're really able to see the power of the Datadog platform. We can pivot to the related resources map to view in real time the relationship between Kubernetes resources. This can help new users onboard faster and comprehend complexity. Now let's say, for example, we want to troubleshoot this pod that's experiencing a restart loop. From this view, we're able to identify the related resources for this pod. We can even look at the logs being generated and identify any error logs, and even transition to our log monitoring product to troubleshoot further. Likewise, we're able to see the associated traces to find any services experiencing any error codes, or even assess the network traffic from this pod sent to and from a specific server. If you need to troubleshoot in another product, you'll be able to do so while maintaining context from the previous window, allowing for a streamlined troubleshooting process. In some cases, you may want to troubleshoot and aggregate your own custom resources, which is why we've added the ability to ingest and view them individually or by custom resource definition objects within the platform. You'll notice that we have a column that highlights which CRDs are indexed and which are not. Datadog gives you the granular control to determine which version and what fields you want indexed from your CRDs within the platform. You can also click into a CRD to see the related custom resources for deeper visibility, and view the YAML file to help pinpoint changes, and even see all of the related resources to get a comprehensive understanding of your infrastructure. You're even able to click into each custom resource to see all of the same information for each resource. Datadog also enables you to identify vulnerabilities in container images on your hosts, ideally before they hit production for all the applications running in your pods, containers, or clusters. This capability also surfaces Amazon Elastic Container Registry detections to identify vulnerable images early. These vulnerabilities are provided by the lightweight Datadog agent running on your hosts, eliminating the need for any additional installation on your part. You can quickly sort by the number of running containers to identify images that are deployed widely in your environment. You can even then drill down and get the detailed information about which containers are using the image and details about the vulnerability. If you need to investigate further, clicking on the vulnerability will take you directly into our cloud security management product. Organizations often choose to over-provision Kubernetes resources so that they are able to avoid capacity issues that may impact the end user. It's critical to ensure availability and scalability, but over-provisioning could potentially lead to wasted resources and abundant costs. 
With our Kubernetes resource utilization view, you're able to understand exactly how your resources are allocated, ranging from across all your workloads or to an individual container. You'll see here that you can filter based on key metrics such as the number of idle cores within a resource, as well as CPU and memory usage. We went from a high level view of how you can gain visibility into your container and Kubernetes infrastructure to understanding any errors from the specific microservices that are running on it. Now you're able to proactively detect and monitor for any future issues.